News obtains a document that indicates New York State did see health and safety problems at Ivy Ridge, the now closed boarding school near Ogdensburg. That letter dated 2006, yet the school stayed open for another three years. 7 News anchor Diane Rutherford joins us live with what we've learned. Diane. Jeff, this letter is from the State Education Department. We got it through a federal court. Now, it raises plenty of questions like what exactly did the state know and what, if anything, did it do about it? Some desperate parents are having their children abducted, taken against their will to a behavior modification program. Since the Netflix documentary on alleged abuse at Ivy Ridge Academy dropped a week ago, many have wondered how this could have happened in New York, a state known for its regulations and oversight. Marketed as a boarding school for troubled teens, some attendees have claimed they were subjected to physical, psychological, and sexual abuse and made to follow cult-like rules. Ivy Ridge applied to the state to register as a non-public school. According to this letter, the State Department of Education visited Ivy Ridge twice and found its application had, quote, serious deficiencies in the areas of academics, health, and safety, end quote. It's dated November 29, 2006, about three years before Ivy Ridge shut its doors. We brought this letter to the attention of State Assemblyman Scott Gray. It is an absolute failure, right? It's a failure of the state, it, it w what appears to be from the state to act. The Department of Education listed the following deficiencies, inadequate systems to protect the health and safety of students, a chain of command that places one group of students over another, prohibition against students possessing any phone numbers or addresses, overly restrictive policies regarding student use of restrooms, and inadequate staff training related to student restraint. Some of these issues were reported in the documentary. It's a failure not to shut that facility down right then and there. Those are all significant red flags in that letter, and I would have thought at that point in time, it should have been shut down immediately. Assemblyman Gray has a meeting with the state attorney general's office on Thursday. He plans to share this letter. We just need to look at the whole who's still here that was involved and making sure none of this is even has the remote possibility of reoccurring again. Now, in this letter, the Education Department determined Ivy Ridge was a behavior modification center and not a school, and it didn't give Ivy Ridge the right to hand out diplomas. As for the state, we reached out to the Education Department and Governor's Office to see what, if anything, was done after this letter. We have not heard back from either office.